Yo, what is up guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at different uh, videos, GIFs, uh, images, thumbnails. Basically, I've been using uh, AI tools to help me with my server and help me with my work, my workspace or my work uh, a little bit. So I'm going to show you all the, like, the RS related images which I've been creating. And we're going to start off with this one. But yeah, this is a girl with a box and uh, a Santa hat as well. And I made this because uh, you guys should go to the donation store and buy some Noxious boxes maybe. Because uh, Lunas actually just got Noxious boxes from Calamity. Only $10 worth of boxes. And he got a Noxious sword from $10, guys. 10 USD. So definitely worth it to get those Noxious boxes or any other boxes in general. Because it shows... If you examine the boxes, it will actually show you the chance you're going to get the item. And for the most part, most of the boxes, it's like 100 USD average to get an item from the box. So, you know, I'd say that's pretty good. Considering some of these uh, used to be $150, so the prices are going down. But anyways, I spend like $30 USD per month on AI tools. So uh, some of them can make like gifts and stuff like that. Here's one where they're are uh, all holding the same box. That's actually kind of funny. And they're changing hair color, um, possibly even changing eye color. And then uh, like they're growing a Santa hat out of nowhere. Kind of cool. But anyways, then I made uh, some where they don't have any clothes. But to be fair, I also have an outfit in game where I, uh, I've, I'm like a Santa hat girl, blue Santa hat, red Santa hat, one of the two. And uh, yeah, I'm not wearing many clothes when I'm, uh, you know, when I'm doing that or whatever. But let's take a look at the next image. So this one's pretty sick as well. It's, uh, this one doesn't have as much movement, but um, yeah, she's not wearing many clothes. And this one looks like pretty good. But I think the last one has some issues with the arms if you're taking a look at the arms. Um, yeah, the arms, you know, there's some weird stuff going on down there. But anyways, so... Uh, Let's go back to this one. This one, there's a lot more movement, which is pretty sick. And um, she's got a Santa hat with like three balls coming out of the hat. So that's pretty interesting. But uh, I mean, they are developing new tools for AI where, you know, they'll get, they'll get a lot better at uh, fixing uh, errors like those and stuff like that. But let's take a look at the thumbnails, which I created with AI. I've created at least 10 different thumbnails so far. And then I'll go ahead and critique some of them really quick. But uh, these are gonna be good for YouTube videos, making like thumbnails and stuff that are like really, really high quality or for making logos as well. But uh, if there's too many letters, I'll show you guys really quick. It's not very good at uh, letters. As you can see, it says all the way up the top, Andy Ripsity or Ripsity. Uh, anarchy misspelled, anarchy misspelled, anarchist, erky, um, RSPS. I told it, I told it, go ahead and just write RSPS and uh, anarchy. And this is kind of what it gave me. But if you're not paying attention to the letters, then it looks kind of good, right? This one's uh, very detailed. It's got like tons of different rings on it. Um, it looks really nice. If the letters weren't there, then... Uh, yeah, it would look, uh, it would be like a really good image to use. This one says Anarchy, uh, and also it says RSPS in the bottom here. So, yeah, it followed the instructions, and it made an Anarchy symbol here. And, yeah, so that one looks pretty good. And it's not my favorite, but we're going to go on to the next one. This one, honestly, this one, the Anarchy symbol looks very nice, but, uh... When you look at the text, it's missing an H, and instead of scape, it says sape, which is uh, something a few of the images which I made have done. They've said sape instead of scape. Um, this one as well, anarchy, or anti sape. But uh, the anarchy symbol looks pretty cool, and I don't know who this guy is, but uh, that's interesting. And the guy drew this, apparently, on a table. So... Definitely important that, you know, you're drawing anarchy scape symbols all over the place. Um, you know what's funny is, I was thinking, I'm like, how could I advertise my server? To like, uh, could I advertise my server to 
you know, people on my campus because I was seeing tons of like, join this, uh, join chess club, join this, join that. I'm like, I literally put up like almost posters of like, join anarchy. But anyways, this uh, symbol is looking pretty cool. And then there's, uh, it says anarchy scape. The H is kind of like, you know, small. And it says CP. I'm not really sure what that, what that's doing there. But other than the, the other than the lettering, like it looks pretty sick. And then this one, um, I told it, make a girl with a book with an anarchy symbol with a volcano. And the volcanoes look quite nice. Uh, everything looks quite nice. It says AS, which kind of stands for anarchy scape, I guess. But then once you look at the outer ring, it says anarchy, um, add so herb. So obviously not the best. But now we've got this one. I like get rid of the lettering. And then it made this one. So, you know, this is uh, pretty cool. But the next one is even cooler, um, I think. This one, like the uh, anarchy symbol is like inside of the wall. Lots of fire. So cool. I tried to make it like red and black. That's kind of the color theme of anarchy. But uh, this one is pretty sick looking. It's got like a phone to the side. Uh, misspells anarchy a little bit with two N's, two C's. But it does spell scape correctly, so that's kind of cool. But uh, then the anarchy symbol here is kind of kind of cool. You know, it looks like an A with like two uh, two lines right through it. So yeah, I don't know. I like the color scheme of this one. It's like red, blue, and uh, black. But not only does it do like anarchy scape logo types of things, it can also make thumbnails for videos for uh, different ideas. So this one is the dollar buff video, and then it's spelled dollar buff correctly, which is good. Uh, actually, I had it do a few of them, and it didn't spell it like correctly half the time. But uh, I picked some ones where it did, and there's bosses in the background. Pretty cool Santa hat. I told it to do a girl, but it did a guy. But his armor's cool, so I'll be like, uh, you know, a little forgiving. And then he looks kind of mad too, so yeah, it's interesting. But dollar buff video coming soon. Um, the dollar buff basically already happened, and uh, yeah. So uh, here's another one for dollar buff. The one's a little bit more like maybe childlike, but uh, it's not a girl wearing a Santa hat like I told it to. But whatever. And it looks like he's holding almost a hammer that kind of looks actually similar to Thor's war hammer. So. Now, personally, I think out of all those three, I like this one a lot, maybe even the most. But I told this one, I'm like, yo, throw some dollars, like, you know, flying in the air or whatever. And then it did that. And I, uh, it put like a cool uh, planet back here. And I told it to do a girl with, um, with a blue sand hat. I don't know. I don't think this is a girl. Looks like a, a boy to me. But I told it a spring background, which it, you know, it did pretty good with bosses in the background. So it's pretty cool. And now we're going to move on to the next one. This one's supposed to be a elite box, a black box with red ribbon. So the black, the box isn't quite, you know, black enough for me, but, uh, it is, uh, it does have a girl with a blue Santa hat, which I asked it with bosses. And yeah, so that one could be for an elite box video. This one could be for HNS buff, which is a video uh, idea we're, or an update idea we're going to do kind of soon to make the hide and seek rewards that happen in the chat a little bit more better. Uh, better. So, yeah, it looks like it's got some cool stuff inside of the chest. It made this chest look pretty cool. It's actually got a girl with a blue Santa hat. That's good. It did the lettering a little weird, but other than that, it looks pretty good. And then. This one is really nice. I don't have many issues with this one. So the armor looks nice. The uh, it did a girl with a blue Santa hat, like I told it. Um, uh, yeah, this one looks really nice. And then uh, the lettering is pretty decent, except for the W. The W is a little weird, but um, other than that, yeah. Oh my God! Like it puts like it put it in a box, and then uh, I put like snow on top of the box, and the uh, font is pretty cool. It honestly like. AI is really good at making logos almost better than me, so that's kind of why I'll just have it spit out a bunch of images like this, and I'll pick like the best one or something. 
And it's kind of what I'm showing you guys right now, basically. But here's another one. Oh, look at this. She's smiling. So that's good news. But this is for a Noxious Box video, which we already got Noxious Boxes created. But uh, like I was saying earlier in the video, it's only $100 on average. Uh, and if you buy $10 worth of boxes, that's a 1 out of 10 chance of you guys getting a Noxious Sword. And there's three different Noxious Swords, actually. The best one is an Elite Noxious Sword, which is actually does double the damage of a regular one-handed Noxious Sword, and they're all one-handed Noxious Swords, by the way. So, that, and uh, yeah, it doesn't have any two-handed Noxious Swords, so that's pretty sick. This one is, like, insane. This one might be, out of all the thumbnails, this one might be the nicest looking one. It's nice and bright with vibrant colors, and the chest looks really nice, the lettering looks good, the, what's inside the chest looks good. This girl looks very happy with a blue sand hat, and it's a girl, so basically everything I'm asking for. And so, let's go to this one. This one's the last image we're going to take a look at. Uh, it's an, uh, unique because this one is uh, using like a, what's called upscaling. So it basically takes the dimensions, uh, in the original dimensions, and then it, like, it's a lot larger image in dimensions. But not only that, it fills in a lot of detail so this is not what God Destroyer looks like, actually. God Destroyer doesn't have eyes that are this detailed, nor does it have a, a smile this, uh, with this sharp of teeth in this much detail. But um, it took the original image of God, what God Destroyer looks like, and it made it creepy, really. So, yeah. Anyways, so I've been using, basically the video is like, I've been using um, AI to help me with work, and... Anarchy Scape is also kind of like a second job for me, so it's kind of like work as well. So I'm using AI to make um, just random GIFs and then also, uh, you know, thumbnails for videos, which will uh, help me quite a bit. And maybe I'll fi even find a way for it to, like, help me with um, videos as well. But uh, at the moment, it making thumbnails is uh, really nice because... It makes some really good looking thumbnails, which, uh, with like good, nice, bold text, uh, good logos, stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, so, anyways, uh, buy boxes if you want, buy something else in the donator store if you want. If you don't have VIP, uh, check out like VIP packages and, you know, what you can get from those. Uh, let's see what else. You don't really have to donate because, um, I have a pretty good job. However, we are getting, like, we're paying, like, uh, $500 to $800 for videos. So, you know, you could donate after the videos come out or before the videos come out or something like that just to kind of help pay for the videos a little bit. But at the moment, all the money is coming from me for the videos, and that's just to raise our player count. So I don't know if we're going to get, like, $500 to $800 back from uh, in donations from the videos. Uh, mostly I'm just hoping that we're kind of able to build a player base and then we'll keep doing videos to build it, keep building a player base, get up to like, you know, I've seen uh, as many as seven players online. So, like, I see uh, multiple days in a row where there's seven players online. And then, um, yeah, basically, we're going to get that number to 10. That could be a milestone. Get that number to 15 to 20. Should be uh, pretty easy within like two months, I think. But uh, then get it up to like 40, which, you know, Anarchy has been at like 40, 50 players before with pretty decent advertising. And then, um, yeah, the donations help as well because uh, then I can buy even more videos, right? So I'm putting in my own money, which can buy a certain number of videos. But if the players also donate, I can buy even more videos. But honestly, you guys will just have to see the player count go up and then maybe, it, uh, maybe it'll be like more incentivizing to uh to actually donate but uh that what is the average uh donation is like 50 us dollars so yeah donate you can donate as much as you want if you want but uh yeah maybe uh wait until our player counts a little bit higher and then you might want to donate a little bit more maybe that's generally how it goes but anyways i think that's going to do it for today's video ai is uh pretty good it's kind of bad with, like, lettering sometimes. Like, um, as, as I showed, this one is literally the worst one, though, for lettering. 
This one combined the words anarchy and scape into Annie Sape. So, but the rest of the image is kind of cool. But uh, what else? So, we're going to have a video on a huge rage buff very soon. I already have the script made for it. And then uh, we're uh, going to have two to three YouTubers making video on it. I'm waiting for the third YouTuber to, uh, like, we're going to have that video made. I just need to be able to pay him. And then uh, once it's paid for, then I'll give him the script. And then he will make a video along with the other two YouTubers. And we're making a new refer command, which is basically the cheat command. So they're going to show that off in the video. And then, yeah, after that, the player count's going to go up. And then after that, you know, the donations might start getting good. And then after that, then I might not even have to ask for donations that much uh, anymore. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, anyways, this is going to help a lot with me making uh, videos. It might even help like players want to click on the videos more because they see that, you know, the thumbnail it looks pretty decent. So for example, uh, one of my next videos could be like about Noxus boxes and then the thumbnail could look like this and hopefully, you know, more people will uh, click on the video if they see a really cool looking thumbnail like this. But yeah, anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoy and peace out.